Is peeing after sex really necessary? Peeing after sex can help to flush bacteria from your urethra, which can reduce your risk of UTIs. Is it really necessary? While not absolutely necessary, it is indeed beneficial. Urinating after sexual activity can aid in the prevention of urinary tract infections, UTIs. UTIs occur when bacteria infiltrate the urinary tract, typically entering through the urethra and progressing to the bladder. For individuals with a vagina, the urethra, where urine exits, is in close proximity to the vaginal opening. Conversely, for those with a penis, the urethra serves as the conduit for both urine and semen, though not simultaneously. By urinating after intercourse, bacteria introduced during sexual activity can be flushed away from the urethra. While it may not guarantee complete protection against sex-related UTIs, it remains a relatively simple preventative measure worth trying. Does this rule apply to everyone? Urinating after sexual activity is generally a wise practice, although its effectiveness in reducing the risk of UTIs may vary among individuals. For those with a vagina who are prone to UTIs, urinating after sex can be particularly advantageous. Due to the short distance between the urethra and the bladder, bacteria have a shorter path to cause infection. However, for individuals with a vagina who do not frequently experience UTIs, the importance of urinating after sex may be less significant, though it remains a prudent habit. Conversely, urinating after sex may offer the least benefit for individuals with a penis. Given the longer length of the male urethra, bacteria must traverse a greater distance to provoke a UTI. What if you don't have penetrative sex? In that case, you're safe. Touching any other area on the vulva, either by you or your partner, does not pose an increased risk of UTIs. However, there is one exception. If your partner engages in oral sex or cunnilingus, where oral contact is directed towards the clitoris, located near the urethral opening, bacteria from the mouth and tongue can potentially be introduced into the urethra. How soon should you pee? Ideally, it's best to urinate within 30 minutes after sexual activity to maximize the UTI preventive advantages. The sooner you can do so, the more effective it is. Can this help prevent pregnancy? Urinating immediately after ejaculation won't prevent pregnancy, regardless of how quickly you do so. During vaginal intercourse, ejaculate is deposited into the vaginal canal, while urine exits through the urethra, two distinct openings. Therefore, urinating won't flush out semen from the vagina. Once semen has entered the vagina, the process of conception has already begun. Sperm cells are on their way upward, seeking to fertilize an egg, and cannot be reversed by urination. What if you're trying to get pregnant? When attempting to conceive, certain medical professionals might recommend waiting a brief period before getting up after intercourse. This practice is believed to facilitate the journey of any remaining sperm towards the uterus. Nevertheless, the majority of viable sperm are already actively moving, regardless of whether you remain lying down. Your likelihood of conception won't be compromised if you choose to urinate immediately following intercourse. However, if you prefer to allow a brief interval, waiting around 5 minutes before getting up to urinate may be considered. But it does help prevent UTIs, right? The concise response? It's uncertain, but it's unlikely to cause harm. There is limited research exploring the potential correlation between sexual intercourse, UTIs, and urination as a preventive measure afterward. Numerous other variables contribute to UTI occurrence, such as hydration levels and regular urination frequency. Isolating the exact variable would pose a challenge for researchers.
What about STEEs and other infections? Urinating after sexual activity can aid in flushing out UTI-causing bacteria, but it does not offer protection against contracting sexually transmitted infections STIs. The function of urinating after sex is to eliminate bacteria from the urethra. However, STI-causing bacteria affect the body differently, as they can be absorbed through tiny tears in the mucous membranes. Urination does not influence this absorption process. To minimize the risk of STIs, consistently using condoms during sexual activity and undergoing regular screening are essential precautions. What if you don't need to pee? If you don't feel the need to urinate but recognize that you should, you might find the following strategies beneficial. Increase your water intake. Consuming more water can expand your bladder capacity. Drinking half or a full glass of water immediately after intercourse may prompt your bladder to signal the need to urinate. Utilize audio or visual cues, stimulating your bladder with sounds or sights associated with running water, such as listening to or watching flowing water, could help trigger the urge to urinate. Take additional time on the toilet. Spending a few extra minutes seated on the toilet may encourage your bladder to relax and facilitate the release of urine. What happens if you don't pee after sex? Failing to urinate after sex isn't catastrophic, it's simply a straightforward method to reduce UTI risk. However, prolonging the urge to urinate, whether post-sex or in other instances, can heighten the likelihood of developing a UTI. If you frequently experience UTIs, scheduling an appointment with your healthcare provider is advisable. They can offer treatment options, such as antibiotics or other preventive medications. The bottom line. Urinating following sexual activity can potentially lower your UTI risk. When combined with adequate hydration and consistent restroom visits, this practice may further decrease your likelihood of developing a UTI. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.